in the two hours that passed. In the midst of the most dramatic boom in Europa's history, the horrors of the Great War have faded. Fear of being made victim leads the world back to war. Hey, it's the Litching Hour, Captain from Level 9. Tonight we are playing the second episode in Rise of Fenris, second campaign, playing it on hard. That is the Auto Mazina uh, level of Automa, Automata. Uh, this time around we chose we. I chose War. Last time I played this, I chose the other one, which was World uh, Ecom or whatever. It was uh, engine building, basically. Uh, commerce and stuff. Yeah, Rusvia versus Nords. I'm going to give you a lay of the land before I get going of what the setup was. The setup was, uh, wasn't super intense, but there was quite a bit to it. Um, first up, we got a new Triumph track for just for tonight as seen in my uh, B cam up here. Uh, as you can see, there are four combat uh, triumphs available. Uh, there's no pop one. There is one for having eight. This is where it starts introducing new triumphs. Uh, if I finish a turn with eight combat cards, I can get this one. Uh, the upgrades and, and, uh, and structures are combined, so I can get one or the other. And yeah, okay, put that over here. Well, actually, yeah. Um, let's see what else. Okay, uh, setup. I started with one extra worker on both, so I start with four. I start with two structures of my choice on the two starting ones. I chose a mill here in, on the mountain and a monument here on my uh, on my village. Uh, I got three upgrades of my choice. Tonight I'm playing with the Patriotic player board. Uh, and my three upgrades of choice were upgrade movement, upgrade bolster, and upgrade something else. Oh, combat cards. And then I decreased the cost of my enlist and my deployment. As seen here. Uh, what up? Add four to my starting pop, so I'm at six. He is starting at 14. Uh, and then I bought myself a perk. I bought the two extra combat cards because the two I started with were two twos, and then I drew two threes. So I'm not starting with great. But I'm going to be fighting this this round more than even last time, so, well, two times as much. Uh, let's see. And then there's the rivals rule. So rivals... In this uh, in this scenario, is you put one do up to four stars on and anybody else's home base. I'm only playing the Nord, so I put four of my stars on his home base. Um, you can see there over my shoulder here, uh, and then he put two of his stars on mine. Anytime I beat him, I can uh, and fight him and and win in combat. I could take one of those stars and put it on one of the you know the combat triumphs, and I get an extra five bucks. At the end of the game. Uh, same with him. Uh, let's see. That's rivals. So basically I want to be beaten up on him. The automata. He got a mech. He starts with a mech. He started with. Um, I drew three random automata cards. 
and gave him the um, the goodies and each one, the gain stuff section, which ended up netting him. Uh, he's got he's starting with eight coins uh, and a couple extra workers, and oh, and his um and a couple extra combat cards. He's sitting there. Well, he's just got two, which is good. He, the the most worrying part is the star tracker. He starts at, with three ahead. So he, right off the bat, he can move across the river. So great. So I just got to be ready to take him on. Uh, that's basically it. Basically it. I started with two, com uh, two objectives. Send one back as a warning. Force an opponent's worker to retreat and still have seven power, which sounds kind of maybe doable this time around. Or uh, balanced workforce. Have the same number of workers and recruits, which is also possible because... I'm not going to start out by getting more dudes. I'm not. I'm I I'm, I'm beginning to think I should have started with there is a perk for getting two extra resources. I should have started with two steels so I could have so I could make a mech like immediately. But I didn't. I didn't. I'm wondering now, maybe I should have? Hmm. Huh. 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 No, I can't do it now. I already drew the combat cards. That would be cheating. Okay. So we are going to start now. What is my first move? Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to, okay, my first move is to produce. But I'm not going to produce what's a little bit uh, starting right off inefficiently. Um, well, I could now trade. I'm going to produce. Or do I want to move? See, it's, it's in a weird place because my workers, like... I could start off by trying to get all my workers, just get the star, get all my workers out. I don't want to be dealing with the penalties of producing. I, I want to produce enough to get my all my mechs. Here's the cool thing. My bolster and my combat cards, which is what I'm going to need, I'm going to need to be bolstering, is also with um, but my deployment and I get my three coins every time I make a mech. So I want to kind of lean on that. So I'm going to take a little hit on the efficiency because I chose to do the... the um, the perk with the combat cards instead of the resources. Anyway, I lose one power. Um, I'm gonna get three, three steel. And then I pass the turn to him. Yeah, ten. Kind of BS is he gonna start the game off with? Okay, uh, his first off is he's got a um, moving. There's. A uh, new rule for movement, at least for this game, a, a addendum rule. If this one comes up where the automata is going to go to the factory or move, he's going to fight if he's if he's in position to be able to fight. But he's not. He's just going to move his character to here. Get this. He gets another worker and a combat card, which sucks. Oh yeah. And star he's moving it's gonna be fast and furious ladies and gentlemen okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna pay one. Oh, i didn't get my starting money my starting funds are wait where am i oh over here six okay five pay one bolster three one two three puts me at five he's at six I get one pop, which puts me into the second, the second tier. He started with uh, like four extra, so he's in the third tier. Um, and then I'm gonna spend two of these bad boys to get a mech, my river walk, put him here, and three coins. Not a bad deal. His turn. He is Nord, so he's going to move a worker. He's going to move one of these guys over there. 
And then he's going to get one power and another worker. And a star. When I say star, I mean he's moving on a star tracker. He doesn't get a star. Um, right on. Okay. I am moving now, right? That's the idea. I'm moving this dude here. And my worker, I mean worker, my character here. To get this encounter. What do we got? Pick fruit for the lady and keep a few for yourself. Gain two food and one pop. Pay the lady to supply your empire with her apples. Pay two dollars to gain one worker and three food. Um, that is a great idea because that would put me at five workers. And I get three food. Psh, done. All right, I'm spending two. Get my worker and three food. That is a pretty good deal. All right. Um, and then I'm not upgrading, so I'm done. He is, okay, not going to be fighting. He can move to an encounter. Yeah, he's going to move to an encounter here. Take that. He's going to beef up three po uh, power, and he gets a coin. La -di da Um, but he doesn't move on the star tracker, so that's nice. Very nice. All right, time to start my engine. Uh, going to produce, spin the power, boo. Um, producing three food. Two, three steel. And then I'm going to spend two food and get two coins and enlist. Um, I'm going to list. I'm going to list power and take the power boost one two i'll get combat cards next time uh, is that uh, i got my coins i am good his turn his turn he's moving a worker good i like that you just move your workers he has two power which puts him at 12 i don't like that and he moves in the star tracker my turn um we're going to pay one Bolster for three, one, two, three, puts us at nine, so that's awesome. Get a pop, spin two steel to get a mech. We're gonna take, I'm gonna take the people's army. And I get three coins. That three coins is really gonna help. Uh, okay, his turn. He is moving a worker. Fantastic. The moment he pops his head up, I'm going for the throat. Um, he gets a worker. It's his last one. He gets a coin. Uh, it's popularity is the enlist, so I don't get nothing, and he moves in the star tracker. All right. Okay. Engine away. Uh, I don't even need to. I don't even need to do this. I could just do this again. I'm gonna pay one because I'm Russia. Rasviet. Uh, bolster one, two, three. I'm at twelve as well. I'm gonna get my power thing for sure. I'm gonna pop my way up to the third tier. I love being Rasviet. All right. All right. Uh, trade in two steel to get another mech. Might as well do, might as well do speed. My max arm fell off. What's up with that? There we go. Uh, speed. I'm gonna put. Huh. 
I don't even remember putting these together. Let's see. I'm gonna have to glue it. Okay. I'll put them there. So I can move them around. <laughs> Three coins. And Maybe I should have enlisted so I get, I would have, I just lost out on one coin. All right, fine. Um, By not enlisting and doing the coin thing, I should, I don't know what I was thinking. I did the power, I should have did deployment. That would have been a lot smarter, a lot smarter. Already screwing up, boys. All right, uh, moving gonna move gonna move his character here he's gonna get up he's, he's poking up gets a coin he's peeking out and he moves in the star tracker he's one away from going to the double going to stage two um uh, I don't want to fight him just yet actually to be honest because I want to I want to get my power up we're going to Scheiße. Spin one, produce three, three food, two steel. I'm sorry, three steel. I should have an extra one there. And then I'm spending two food and list. Deployment, like I should have done. Uh, I'm gonna do the combat card though because I got two twos and two threes, and I just drew two twos. I have four twos and two threes. Fantastic. What else am I getting? I'm getting two coins. I think that's what's gonna save my butt for all my my mistakes is my coins. Um. Okay. So getting that extra worker totally ruined getting balanced workforce. So I definitely got to do send back one back as a warning. Okay, his turn. Uh, moves a worker. Gets a coin. Moves in the star tracker. Gets himself a star, an actual star. Get himself a star. We've got to roll for it. He rolls. He's skipping. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He gets the first one. And oh, the deck flips to the harder stage. Rage stage. Oh, I like that rage stage. It's red. Makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm the time of my life. Uh, man, I need two more turns to do my. I have enough steel to do it, so let's do it. Paying one. Bolstering three. One, two, three. Getting a pop. I am close to getting all to the next stage of. I'm at 10. Uh, I've spent in two steel. To get four coin, four coin now. Another mech, my last mech. Oh, my last mech. Look at that. Gives me a star. Ha ha! You're not the only one, buddy. Bro, bro. Got my mechs. And got my four coin. Got my mech. Got my star. His turn. Right, I'm gonna shuffle on this. Originally, oh wait, how many combat cards do I got? I got six combat cards. Hopefully he doesn't attack me. I want, I want the power. The power star. 
Let's see, moving mech. Nope, he's just gonna move his mech. So boom, his mech's going here. He's now crowding me. He's going one, two, three, four, and gets himself gets himself his power star. And another dude, he's already got all his minions. Ooh, the uh, enlist for combat cards. So I get a combat card. A four finally, oh, yay. One, two, three, four, five, um, seven. I only need one more combat card to get that star. And then he moves in the star tracker. La di da. All right, um, well, let's do it. We're gonna spin the coin. Bolster to get the power star. Now I'm at, now it's time to party. Got the power star. Uh, get pop. Gonna spend these two. I already got all my mechs. I'm gonna spend them to get four coins because that's kind of hot. Four coins is kind of hot. Gotta admit, ain't gonna lie. All right, his turn. It's moving a worker. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful, beautiful thing. He gets two powers. He's, he's capped out. Popularity enlist. Doesn't matter to me. And he moves in the star tracker. All right. Time to partay. Man, it's so tempting to do that one more time to get the combat card so I can get the combat card. I can't, actually. I can't. I put all four stars on his, okay. So all four of my stars are on his territory, which means the only way, oh, wait a minute, hold on. There's there's a rule that I think, I think I, if I wanna use, I can take them off. Wait, stars on an opponent's base may only be retrieved and placed on the triumph track through combat. It's time to go to war. Time to go to war. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I, I kind of, Put myself into a corner here. Let's let's party. Moving. Moving. Um so we're both maxed out. Okay, so I'm gonna move this guy. Oh. This guy and the two workers here are gonna go one, two. No, they're at the factory. And then this guy is going to carry a worker and himself. And then this guy is going to come in. So I'm going to crowd him with three, three units. Actually, we'll make that my her. My her. Leader versus leader. Fight. Okay, combat time. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna. This ain't. Um, hmm. I really don't wanna mess around. Like seriously, if I kick these two, he's only got these. Two, it's gonna really put them back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do seven. I'm gonna do seven, and I can play three cards. So uh, I'm gonna play three twos. I have three twos. So uh, 13. I'm playing 13. Let's see what he does. He is 14 plus. He's only playing two power. One, two. He's bluffing me. And he's playing one combat card. He plays a two. Look at that. He's bluffing me. Well, he tries. Well, that's all right. That's all right. So he goes back here. I get a star. Put it on my combat off his base, and that's it, right? That is it. Okay. His turn. I feel like I'm missing something else. His turn. He's moving a worker. Okay. He is getting a combat card and a mech. Building a mech. I get a coin. Thank you very much. And he moves 
He gets himself a star. Got a roll. Roll three. One, two, three. Enlist. All right. Excellent. My turn. Uh, it's time to fight some more. Right? Um, I mean, there's nothing else I can't do. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't put all four of my stars over there. Maybe I should only put like three. It was a little overzealous in that respect. Um, I could wait and let him attack me. It's going to be really bad for him. Because he'll only be able to attack me with one at a time. That's actually not a bad idea. Because I can just keep bolstering and... Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right. I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to move again. I'm going to move again. I'm moving this guy and these two. One, and then I'm bringing him back, too. So where I got the factory. I got... Oh, wait. You know what? No. Move him one, and I'll move this to two. So he goes. I'm going to leave a worker one, two. One worker on the factory, one on this mountain here. Then I'm going to move. I'm just going to go ahead and move these two dudes and a worker into here. Keep that food here. Hiya! Fight time. Uh, I could do three cards, but I'm not going to. I'm going to spend. Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to spend seven power and two cards seven and two threes for 13. he is going to he is if he's got 14 or more in which he does he's going to spend seven and he's spend one combat card seven and a three is ten so he loses that the last the last card in the pile here has two resources on it so he's going to go back i'm going to get one of my stars put on the combat and I get two resources of my choice, which are fantastic. Um, should I might as well, I am. I'm gonna get two oil and go ahead and upgrade. I'm gonna upgrade my popularity, and decrease the cost here. Oh, perfect, perfect, okay. So, uh, and a, I get a coin for doing that. And I say, I got my star, got a coin, got my star. Okay. His turn. His turn. He is fighting a worker. If there is one unattended, there is not. And thereby, so then he's moving a worker. He's going to move one of his workers over here. He's going to bolster one, two, three, get himself a coin. And then I get a combat card. Thank you very much. It's a three. And then he moves. Okay. Um, yeah. So there's a couple things I want to do here. I want to. Hmm. Before he finishes the game, I'm going to go here and get my two pop. That'll put me into his bracket. So that's wonderful. So I'm just gonna start doing. I gotta do one extra thing. I gotta. I'm gonna. This is, puts me in kind of a bad place. Hmm. I'm a little greedy right now. I'm gonna spend one power to produce two steel. Well, a steel here, a steel here. That's a mill, so I got one more. And then I'm going to produce, I, I guess the only other thing I'm going to produce is a food there. Food there. And um, 
and then I'm gonna spend two food to get two coin. Two coin and which one? Oh, I don't even need that two pop. I can do the two pop right now. Oh, should I? Which? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do it now. I don't have to take that action. One, two. Now I'm at 13. I am good to go. Booyah. Okay, his turn. He is attacking. Yes, he is. Bart. Okay. Well, we'll see how this goes. He's coming in here. One guy. Cool thing is he's not moving in Star Tracker. All right, so he's got 10, I got one. I do have a two, a three, and a four. I could play all three of these if I want to. Do I want to? <clears throat> Do I want to? I almost feel like I want to. Hmm. I need to start bolstering. If I want to win some. Um, yeah. I don't want to spend my cards. Do I just take a dump on this one? It's an odd phrase, but. I think I'm pretty far ahead of this guy. Even if he takes some extra. All right. You know what? I'm I do want to I want a combat card, so I'm going to spend one combat card of a two. No power. He is going to Oh, he's going to spend 7, which puts him at 3, and he's going to spend two combat cards, which is his his only combat cards. 4 and 3. So he overplayed, he won, he gets one of his stars that put on here, sends my two mechs and a worker back. Good for you, bully for you. All right, and then, uh, but he does not move on the star tracker. Oh, and I get, I get a popularity. Oh, he gets a coin, he does get a coin. Um, and that's that. All right, cool. So now, that's basically what I'm, all I'm going to be doing. Spinning a coin for three, one, two, three, a popularity, uh, one, spending one steel to get four coins. One, two, three, four. And done. His turn. He, if he has seven, he does not. He's going to fight. If there's a worker unattended, oh, there is, you bastard. You dirty, rotten. So he comes in here. I, I, I should have known better. And then uh, these go away, I believe. He basically took them. And then I get a pop. And son of a... He gets three power. One, two, three. And he moves in the stars and gives him a, gives him a star. Oh, got to roll. Five. One, two, three, four. Mm. Um. Yeah, five. Okay. All right. Well, he has one star left. I don't think he will win though. Um, he has no combat card, so I'm gonna go ahead and fight him. It's moving time. I'm gonna move these guys out of here. One of them out of here. He's gonna go one, move from this two, one, two. Should I just fight him? Yeah, okay, one, two. Move into this village here. 
And this guy who didn't move is going to pick up these two workers and go one, two. Then I have one move left. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I do. I have one. Oh. Unleash the dogs of war. Hopefully it was just like a rabbit out there. Okay. This guy, uh, this mech is going to move in here to attack him with a worker. People's Army, FTW. So we are initiating fight. Fight time. Um, I, uh, I can do two cards. Uh, he doesn't have any cards, so the best he can do is seven. Oh, no, actually, the best he can do is six. So I could play, I could do three and three. Yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't care. Three and three. I'm going to spin three. One, two, three. Three power and the three combat card. I draw him. He is going to spend. <laughs> that's funny. If he has zero to seven, he's going to spend six, and that's all he's got is six. I and spend two combat cards, which he does not have. I win ties, so that's mine. That's not my last star, but it was my almost to last star. What's on his con? I get two resources. Excellent. Do I have? I got two. Two of those left. It doesn't matter. I can't get my other star that way anyway. So I might as well take. I'll just take two steel. Take two steel. He goes back here. And um, that goes there. I got a four left. And that's it. His turn. He is going to move his character to this encounter. He is not. Um, the rules specify if he, that he would be fighting, but he can't. He's not near me to be able to attack. If I was here, he would be able to. Um, he gets warp, he gets two coins. And the star. <clears throat> All right, he's going to end the game next turn. And I'm not really in a position to fight him. I'm just going to go ahead and spend a coin to get three power. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. And um, one pop and spend a steel. Steel to get four coins. Yeah, a lot of coins. His turn. He's gonna move a worker. I get four power. One, two, three, four. I get a power, and then he's moving a star and getting the final star. Wait. Yes. Right. Um. Oh, he gains five dollars when placing a star from your base. So he. He had already did that one time, so he gets five coins. I gotta make sure I give him his due. So he's got five extra coins. I'm just wondering, does is he under the same deal too, where he can't get he can't place that star unless it's through combat, or? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to assume that he places his stars no matter what. Yeah, I'm not going to say that he's he's not under the same stipulation as I am. So, he gets a star. It'd be a roll. One, two, mech. Okay. Finished. We are finished. Excellent. Okay. 
Tally up. Tally up. Let's see what he's got. Uh, stars. He's got six stars for 30. And then, uh, what's his territory count here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight for 32. So he's got 62 points right now. 62 um, plus one, two, three, four, five, six. 62 plus 18 seems to be um, 80. And then he's got one extra coin, so 81. 81 points. Any other points? I don't, he doesn't get any other points. 81. Okie dokie. I get um, five stars for 25. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven territories. Uh, 11 is 44. So 44 and 25 is 69. <laughs> uh, 69 and then. Um, I have two, two resources for three points is 72. And then 72, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine times three. That's 27, 30, 31. So 72 and 31 is 103. 103, and then no bonuses there. 103, 103 wealth. I will take it. 103 plus 74 is, I got 177 wealth right now. So, so far, Automazina isn't, <laughs> isn't been too stressful. I'm, you know, hmm. I have won. Rusviat has won. Yes. Yes. Okay. My, I mark off my triumph log. What's the deal here? All right, record the victory. I won. Yeah, stars, coins. Got it, got it. Uh, stars earned from new categories in the War Triumph track. Two extra combat stars, eight combat, and the combined structure can each be used for any one category on your triumph log. Fantastic. So I've got two combat ones that I can use. Wait. Well, technically only one. Technically one combat star extra. I will use it to mark off my popularity up here. Yeah. And then I did get power so I'll mark that off I did get two more combats okay, there I got the what is that max Tex max and um, I didn't get the eight combat card so is that it? one two three four five yep five okay okay and okay so wait, what did he get let's mark off what he got our man here got does he get to check off for his territories i mean his triumphs All right, whatever. He um, he got upgrades. He got two combats. No, he got one combat. One power. And enlist. And what's that? Mech. I just marked that off. Did I mark that off? I think that was. I think he got that again. And then we'll give him. We're gonna give him one for that eight eight combat card one. <clears throat> give him his people, his workers. Okay. So, what this introduces this war, this episode, and if you're new to Rise of Finneris, 
what's happening next is I get to choose, well, we both get to choose mech mods. This, this scenario unlocks mech mods for the next, for subsequent games. So I'm going to be purchasing, um, uh, purchasing and then being able to play modifications to my mechs next game. Basically what that, what that is, is uh, new powers that replace, that I can choose to have replace current powers. Uh, yeah, I'll draw randomly. I'll draw like three randomly and I get to choose which ones I want to buy and I uh, use my wealth to buy them. And then, uh, yeah, we, we go from there and we'll check out which ones I buy next time. So next episode is a plea from Vesna. Uh, I like that cause I really like, well, you'll see. All right. That was, um, no, nowhere near as stressful as uh, I imagined. Right? I, uh, yeah, maybe I'm just getting lucky. All right, you guys take it easy. Um, and next Friday we'll be playing episode three. Tomorrow is Apocrypha Adventure Card Game. Viva the Dungeon! <laughs>